Hi there everybody, uh, this is Farmer Bob and welcome back to my channel and uh, if you haven't um, uh, subscribed yet please consider doing that, it really helps the channel out and uh, this is just uh, um, another update on Sunfeld South Africa, it's my latest map that I've made and uh, this time around we're going to quickly show you what I've done, uh, this is the seasons edition so I've added seasons to it which is quite uh, quite a nice um, update to to have just gonna have a quick thing there let's go get our flight tools on that will just help us move around better ah, super strength ah, we don't really need that oh yeah and the, obviously the speed we want speed guys speed is of good <laughs> okay of good use get some speed going all right so now we can fly around and have a look at the map as you can see, obviously, I've uh, uh, opened this map with, um, with seasons and also, obviously, if you don't have seasons, I've bundled it all together into the zip download. So you just uh, extract all the mods in the zip file into your mods folder and that's it. That includes the map and seasons and um, all the other stuff that's in it. As you can see, very nice snow. <coughs> Excuse me. I've, uh, um, I've run the map a bit and obviously when you open seasons for the first time a new game you won't get snow because obviously it's not in the snowy time of the year great man so yes guys this is uh, Sandfell South Africa it's a it's an area down in the western cape of South Africa um, on the west coast and um, it's an actual farm there which I have built for the farmer who requested that I maybe consider making a map of his farm. That's why when you when you look at the map um, itself, you will see that it's an exact copy of Google Earth of the area. The the river goes there, the road it goes there, all the fields is exactly as it is on um, the area there. Except obviously for the forestry, which I have uh, obviously added to make the game. Um, how can I say? Uh, flexible for the for the farmers you know those guys that want forestry and I've added some some stuff that's not there on the map obviously to make the game playable like your cell points and and, and the dealership here next to the river <laughs> all those things is is not in real life but it's in the game to make the game uh, enjoyable and then obviously the whole farm layout here is also different from um, from the actual farm uh, although the house and the, the, sh the tool shop or the workshop that is in the same place and also the potato shed is in the same place um, or roughly the same spot as on real life, you know. And in that area is a lot of uh, irrigation off the river. So you will get this, uh, this round fields because they use, um, use the spill points to, to, to irrigate, you know. And that's why um, I've actually just stuck to the area there and put the round fields in. I've tested these fields with a with a normal worker. You can run the fields with a normal worker. It runs pretty fine, no problems at all. Um, the the on this update I know on the previous version, version two and version one, uh, because the fields are round, um, you when you create the fields uh, you have squares to work with. Now, obviously, a round thing doesn't fit into a square. <laughs> so I had to, um, in this version, I've added a lot of more squares to make the corners or the roundness of the, of the fields uh, more, uh, um, less, uh, I would say, less turns, actually more turns for the, um, for the equipment so that they can sort of drive more in a round way you know instead of driving a bit and then turn driving a bit and then turn you know so it's a very difficult thing to have a round field <laughs> but anyways i've done my best i've added i think <clears throat> probably I've, i think i've tripled the amount of corners on the fields so that's it there great okay so for those who are new to the map Let's just have a quick look around the map. Obviously, our farm is here in the, uh, I'll say, northeast area of the map. Got a nice river running through, splitting the map in, 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 in 
in basically two parts. And then I've added, uh, I've, I've made the fields or created them for multiplayer. So you can um, easily divide the fields into the amount of players you have. And then also, obviously, the river splits the whole map in basically two. So you can obviously have sides um, and maybe teams, you know, that type of thing, which is quite nice. Um, and then uh, just to give a quick rundown of the of the map itself, um, on the top north area of the map, there is a quarry for lime. You can get free lime in there. And then obviously the forestry is down here. If you go up here, we have the sawmill, uh, Viking chemicals, as well as a biogas plant. So I've also added the biogas for the guys that likes to make um, silage and that type of stuff. Sandberg Stasi, um, the labeled will BKB, uh, the animal dealer, and the barn is on this side. Small cell points and stuff that you can uh, utilize. And then obviously the Cape Agri is another cell point, and the shop is where you get your vehicles, and obviously the fuel station up there, which is the only fuel station. There is on the farm itself, you have obviously your, uh, your storage, uh, your storage storage facility here, the house is here, and then all your animal dealers. We've got the, the horses, chickens, pigs, two pigs, uh, the sheep, the pigs, and uh, um, the cows. And then on this side, we've got a big um, uh, um, silage press here for those guys that likes to make silage and farm with animals. So yes, the map caters for all the all the nice things in Farming Simulator. It's got all the all the necessary things. The water in the river is free, obviously. Uh, on this side of the map, I've got some wind uh, wind pumps. If you zoom in here, you'll find them. There's one there, and I think I've got one here, and maybe, I can't remember if I've got one on this side, but there's definitely one here as well. So it gives you water points for multiplayer, which is uh, uh, quite nice. And there's a lot of space open where guys can build their farms, you know, between the fields. Um, you'll see there's a lot of space um, that is not uh, fielded, you know, so <laughs> or plowed or um, uh, ready to, 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 to utilize. So yes, let's have a quick look at the, at the, uh, um, the cell points. These all your cell points. One, two, three, four, five, six to go with. And then obviously the map has multi-fruit. So there's a, a, a nice amount of multi-fruit for you guys to, to farm with. And also in the in the mod or in the download, I've put in my uh, modified um, Terrados 4 harvester, and that can harvest all these root crops, which is fairly nice because there's nothing in the in the base game to to harvest them. So with that uh, machine, you can um, fairly nicely farm with those uh, um, um, crops, you know, which is awesome. Okay, good. And then obviously the array of vehicles I will show you in the in the actual shop because it's much easier to do it there. Uh, we want to go to the shop. Now I just need to need to get to uh, to the shop. So to do that, we go to P, and then obviously the garage, and then the array of startup vehicles is. Uh, enormous so yeah, you, know, you can just browse so I'm just gonna slowly browse to them and you can see there's something of everything even a loading wagon which which are uh, um, uh, um, what do you call this thing again it's a almost a auger wagon <laughs> I'm, all wet. I'm so searching for words oh my gosh okay anyway so everything is there the farm is obviously rigged for potato so the, there'll be a potato planter as well in and plows to enough cedars and spreaders and everything that you need to start right away and all the weights and then obviously silos and, and whatever great man guys so for you who haven't seen the map before i really hope you can enjoy this map it is a very nice big it's a four times map so it is nice and big um, i don't really think you need anything bigger than a four times map because i mean to farm this is a challenge already you know so a standard map two times is 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 sufficient but four times i think nicer for multiplayer well it's just my personal opinion guys but uh, yeah it is definitely 
definitely playable in, in multiplayer and nice, nicely user friendly. This uh, is obviously standard with the with the form itself. It's your um, all the different uh, storages, and you can just draw as much as you want of any of these silos. So yeah, it's all the fertilizers and seed and uh, uh, pesticides and everything you need. This is the potato oil. It's a mod from Global Company, and to use this, you have to actually stand in front of this any of the six doors. It's consisting of six bays and each bay takes 200,000 liters of potatoes and then on the left there you can see the red um, conveyor on the side now that is where your potatoes come out you just park your trailer there and you obviously press the R button I think and then you can select which bay you want to unload and that's very nice so you open the, 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 the bay door on the side here and you reverse your trailer up there and you tip it and it stores your potatoes for you Unfortunately, it only do uh, do potatoes. So, um, as in real life, this is potato form. Um, I'm just trying to stick to what in real life is there, you know, for the farmers, um, for the joy of the farmer, the actual farmer, you know, who, who owns the farm. So, um, yes, if you don't like the potato hall, it's very easy to just quickly sell it from the garage. You go to the garage and then obviously just sell it here at the end. Uh, it will be somewhere here. Here it is, data hall. Just drop it and that's it. Get rid of it and the space will be yours and you can put something else there in its place. And that goes for all the vehicles. Obviously, you can sell those and put what you want. And if you don't like that, uh, just start a new game with uh, with the start from scratch mode or that uh, the other mode in the middle and you'll be April away and happy, man. Great, guys. Well, guys, this is Farmer Bob, and thanks for watching, man. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so, and consider watching my um, my website. All the maps I've made so far is on my website. Uh, the, the link will be in the description. So uh, enjoy, guys, and thank you so much for watching. Take care until next time. Cheers.